Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Steinvas. So, in this video, I am going to start a stack implementation using JavaScript. Here, so what is a stack? What is a stack? Stack in a JavaScript. Stack means it is a data structure. The way of storing the information depends on a particular rule. So, what is the rule? See different algorithms providing different set of rules to structure the data. So, nothing but the way of storing the data. So, why we are storing the data in different formats means what? So, that we can access effectively and this is one way. Here a stack follows a simple rule, stack follows a simple rule called last in first out, last in first out. So, what you have inserted last, so that will come out first, simply to specify how can we understand, how can we understand. Here we are taking this one as a stack, just like one array and this is what a stack. And here it is, we are storing information into these things. How can we store the data? If you want to store the information or if you want to retrieve the information from the stack using top, this is called top of the stack. Either you want to store the data, so generally functionally we can call it as a push. I want to push the item, I want to push the element into the stack, of course the function. Here it is, next if you want to access the information is called we just pop the information, whatever the operation, if you want to store the data or if you want to retrieve the information from the stack, two operations we can perform push and pop, push means what inserting the element, pop means what deleting the element from the stack. So, what all the operations we can perform on the stack, what all operations, generally according to algorithm, according to algorithm one is a push. So, whatever the element you want to push, so that we have to specify as an input is used to push the element. Second one is what pop and here it is we are collecting, it will return the element, just element we are collecting, storing into a variable, so that will return by pop. Pop function will return the element, sir which element it will return, top element it will return. So, before going to pop the element, we have to check so whether that element is present or not to pop. Suppose if stack is empty, we cannot perform pop operation directly stack is empty error. And here it is next one we are checking that is empty or not. So, why we are checking is empty or not? It will return a boolean value suppose a true value if it is empty, stack is empty. If it is not empty, it will return what as a false value. First we are checking is empty or not, then only we can perform pop operation and display operation. Suppose if it is empty, so whenever we try to pop then what is the use, simple. And again we are, whenever we are inserting, we are checking whether it is a full or not. If memory is a full, we keep on inserting at a particular location memory is a full. If it is a full, we cannot insert the data, nothing but we cannot push the element onto the stack. So these are and here it is like a traverse, like a peak function we are taking. So, what is the difference between a peak function and pole function? I mean peak function and pop function. Peak function means it returns the top element, but the element will not be removed. Just to check what is the element present at the top of the stack, that is what peak. Next pop function means what? It will remove the element and return the element. The top element will be removed and that will be written just to check. And next one is a traverse, a traverse is nothing but display. So, according to algorithm, we use that word traverse or simply we can call it as a display. So, these are the six functions, the six methods we are implementing, right, to implement the stack algorithm. Implement stack algorithm, how to implement, how to write the code, program implementation, we will see in the coming video. Hope you understood. So, thank you for all.